Hello and welcome to WP Fix Center. In this video today we're going to look at WebP images and how I use WP Rocket and Imagify to create the images and serve them. This really helps speed up your site, especially if you have an image heavy site. If we look at what's on the screen here, um, there's, there's a Google developers page that explains WebP. It says a new image format for the web. It talks about them being 26% smaller in size compared to Ping's. Uh, it says WebP lossy images are 25 to 34 percent smaller than comparable JPEG images. So if you have an image heavy website especially, this is going to help you serve that site up faster. So there's two pieces to this. There's a lot of different plugins that will accomplish this for you. In my case, uh, I, I've purchased WP Rocket and then I also purchased a um, a gigabyte of image compression with Im Imagify, you can actually, um, you can do some of your images for free, but not that many. And I had a customer site that I had to buy the gigabyte for, so I have some left over. So let's take a look. If we look at my uh, dashboard, at this dashboard, I just installed the Imagify plugin. You'll see here I've already got WP Rocket installed. Um, there's a there's a place here down in the bottom of the WP Rocket settings under media for enable WebP caching. And it talks here about if you're, um, it's, it notices that I've installed the Imagify plugin. It says if you want WP Rocket to serve them for you, activate this option. So we're going to turn this on and save the changes. So that's what you have to do in WP Rocket to get this to work. Now let me go back down there and pop up this more info again. You'll notice it says here, WP Rocket does not create the WebP images for you. You need an additional plugin such as Imagify to handle the image conversion. So I've installed Imagify, I've got it over here, and you, you can see from the splash screen at the top that I've already installed it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. If you need help on uh, installing a plugin, that's uh, something that's easy to find help for on the web. Now I have an API key, and I've already installed my API key. I will mention one thing real quick. I, when I was using Imagify, for uh, a Bluehost uh, client that's uh, hosting on Bluehost. We found a problem where Imagify would not uh, compress all the images, and I have to give their, their tech support great credit. Um, I, I got in touch with support. They looked at the problem. They actually logged in to my site. I gave them a login, and they, they found that there's a problem with Image Magic, which is what Bluehost is using for image compression. So they actually created a small plugin let me see if it's showing up here yet. Um, let me refresh this page. I'll post this plugin on this page so you can download it. If you're, if you're running Bluehost and you're going to use this combination of Imagify and, uh, and WP Rocket, you'll want to install this plugin. It's called Don't Use Image Magic. It's something that it's like just a few lines of code. It's something the developer uh, at WP Rocket and, and Imagify, it's the same company, WP Media. Um, they, they made this for me on the fly, and I think I should make it available for you if you're going to use this combination. Um, so, let's go ahead and go to the Imagify settings. And you'll notice here, auto-optimize images on upload. We want that set. Uh, back up the original images. When, when we compress the images, I do want to keep backups. Um, I don't have EXIF data in my images, so I'm not going to check that. And then we have down here, create WebP versions of images. We're going to resize larger images. Uh, would I like to optimize my theme? Um, sure, I haven't tried that before. Let's see what this does. Okay, I've added my theme. Let's see if that breaks anything. Always have a backup before you do this kind of stuff. You want to make sure you can always, uh, like what I do is I, I'll do this kind of work the first thing in the day before I do any kind of content development and I'll make sure it works because I can always just reload the entire website from the from the hosting backup. Um, really got to make sure that you know who your web host is and that you have have tried restoring from a backup. Like just thinking that you have a backup isn't good enough. You need to actually restore from that backup and make sure it works. So there's some more settings down here. <clears throat> um, sure, I'll leave the awesome quick access menu on my toolbar. Now at the bottom it says save and go to the bulk optimizer, so we're going to do that. And it's working on it. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do, you'll notice I have a 67% space credit left, so that's about 600 megabytes. Um, we want to, uh, <clears throat> this is the progress indicator, it's not starting yet because it's waiting for us to start. 
I want to, I don't have any custom folders, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm just going to do my media library. This site doesn't have that many images. And I'm going to say Imagify them all. It says I have a 67% space credit left. It says please be aware that optimizing a large number of images can take a while. This is, this is true. And I have to keep the page open. So let's start this optimization. And let's just see what it does here. It should, should start cranking away. Shouldn't take very long in this site. Now we see that the little gear is spinning down here. It's 10% done. You'll notice here, this one here was originally 369.1 kilobytes. Oh, okay, this one here is 588.3 kilobytes, and it took it down to 214 kilobytes. So it cut it more than in half, the size of the image. Now looking, here's another image, 59% is the size that we saved by using Imagify. Um, I didn't realize I had an image that was 1.5 megabytes. You know, those are probably the images that came with the theme in the first place. Shame on them for putting such a huge image in. But it took it down to 614 kilobytes. Because, yeah, certainly I, w I would not uh, upload a 1.5 megabyte image to my website. So it's 40% done. We'll check back in later when it's done and follow up. Okay, you can see we're just about done. It's at 90%. I really like this theme that I'm using. I actually just switched the site over to, I was using Divi, and I wasn't totally happy with the, the speed performance of Divi. Uh, I used kind of a complicated template, and I thought just for fun I would try to go with one of these single page sites, and I used the, uh, hey, we're done. I used the Studio Press Parallax Pro theme, which I really like, but I don't know what they had in there that was 6.6 .6 megabytes. I know I didn't, I didn't upload anything at 6.6 .6 megs. So, um, Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened here. Let's make sure our, our WP Rocket settings are set. We do have enabled uh, WP caching. We have lazy load enabled for images and for iframes and videos. Uh, replace the YouTube iframe with preview image. You know, I want to do that because I have a couple of pages that have embedded YouTube uh, videos. And those were some of the biggest laggards on the, on the Divi version of the site. I expect they're still going to slow down my site. Uh, on Studio Press, uh, Genesis is what Studio Press uh, develops. So let's save the changes here. Okay, I've taken a couple of steps here. First of all, in Chrome, I just made sure that I cleared my cache. So you go to Chrome, More Tools, Clear Browsing Data, and I'm just clearing the cookies, uh, cached image files, and autofill form data. I'm, I'm logging into my CDN. Well, the first thing I did is I followed these steps in WP Rocket. I cleared the cache, I preloaded the cache, and then just for good measure, I did what's called regenerate critical CSS. So you see at the top of the page that this critical CSS has been regenerated. The next thing I'm doing is I'm going out to the CDN. You may not use a CDN, so you probably don't have to worry about this step, but if you don't use one, you probably should be. Uh, that's something I can help you set up. So I'm going to purge everything. Okay, now we're going to take a look at where this actually works and where it doesn't work. I discovered that the combination of Imagify and WP Rocket is not working on my home page. Let me show you here. If I go to uh, Developer Tools, you can do this for yourself. What you want to do is look at the Network tab, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we'll load the website again. And you'll notice here, it's still using the JPEG images. For some reason, these seem to be hard-coded into the theme, and the, the home page is not giving uh, it's not giving Imagify and WP Rocket their chance to do their magic. But if I go to one of the blog pages, let's see, let's see if the if it worked right on this page. Where is my image? Okay, you can see right here if you look. Uh, right right up here, Oop, where we go, there we go, right up there. 
it says that it's a, w, a WebP image that's being downloaded. And you notice it's downloading it at the very end as well. So it's, it's doing the lazy load thing. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little bit of allergies today. Let me, let me look here at a uh, actual blog page. Uh, let's take a look at this one. You don't want your speed ratings to look like this. That's what this blog post is all about. Uh, I found this website that gets these horrible speed ratings for a, a very high profile real estate website. Uh, we'll notice here down at the very bottom, again, this is being loaded as a WebP image. So it's working for most of the site. Uh, in a different video, I may try to suss out why it's not working on the home page, but my home page already gets pretty high A rating, so I'm not too worried about that. So to wrap up this video, using a combination of Imagify and WP Rocket, we're serving up what are called WebP images. This is going to improve the site speed. Uh, it's going to load the page faster. It's going to increase your your Google SEO rankings, and it's going to keep people around. There's a there's some research that says that if your site takes longer than three seconds to load, people will abandon it and go find another site. And this page is going to load a lot faster than three seconds, I believe. Um, okay, well, thanks. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and keep your eye out for any new content. Bye.